Bhagavad Gita, text 2.64. However, even while moving among the sense objects, the self-controlled one who is free from attachment and aversion, bringing his self under the jurisdiction of God, attains God's grace. Krishna differentiates the person he speaks of in this verse from the person described in the previous verse by the word to, however. The enlightened soul can have healthy interaction with sense objects because his mind is controlled and thus free from attachment, raga, and aversion, dvesha. When the senses are under the influence of attachment and repulsion for sense objects, interaction with sense objects is a source of misery. Attachment eventually bears the fruit of suffering at the inevitable loss of desirable sense objects. And repulsion for undesirable sense objects is directly a source of suffering when we are in touch with them. When one whose mind is controlled understands the nature of attachment and repulsion, interaction with sense objects is not a cause of suffering. The enlightened soul interacts with sense objects knowing the proprietorship of God. Thus he attains serenity, prasadam, the result of attaining which is discussed in the following verse.